From the first day, when no book her up steak Girl I say she love it, then I like a cupcake Who are you? Yes, artist. Get Now, let me show you something. The mere fact that the officer now thinks that he's going to arrest you and him goes and reach out for your hand. You see the moment when craft goes so? Viewers and subscribers, welcome back to another update. So we see Naji Boy finally gets into the big lead when it comes to his musical career yeah the man basically a premiere a song you know that is going to be produced by dj frost called the party bus rhythm so we're going to show you what's going on for that also in this update jamaica to pay legal fees to vibes cartel and co-accused for privy council appeal yeah people we're going to read an article from nationwide relating to this also in this update usain bolt gifted his mom a 45 million dollar mansion in brisbane australia on her 61st birthday so we are reading an article relating to this also in this update we have dancer selector tony mataran basically giving his take on the whole craft getting arrested and thing but tony mataran has said the moment craft jaw him and away from the police that's the moment him got into trouble and you know the reason why craft was targeting is because of profiling the police them did a profile him based off of how him look you know him full of tattoo he never have on a shirt and them thing there so we are showing you a video relating to that also viewers but before we get into all these updates please remember to leave a like on this video very important also subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed as it i leave your thoughts down in the comment section Russian, them boy and it girl is class actually never mind let them slip and slide hey watch your style no man remember some don't see everything we're going already you know me and danger remember some vision dangerous then we're there you know quest time remember some see every post we're making you know? a lot but watch you know man it's when you want to drop my good little deaf and blind team out of time here beat on your place. Watch your style, yeah. Frost, they say no rest for the wicked. These girls keeping me busy, uh -huh. Listen, from the first day, ain't no book her up steak. Girl, I say she love you, then I like a cupcake. She said, don't leave. Me, I beg you, just stay. Give me one more night with you till the sun rays again. So viewers, that's Naji Boy, the popular blind artist are visually impaired, premiering his new song on the party bus rhythm and you know that is going to be produced by DJ Frost, real DJ Frost, everybody's supposed to know Frost, Frost are one of the producers them will create some of the biggest hits in a dance hall when I talk about Movado, work with DJ Frost, Alkaline work with DJ Frost, a lot of artists work with DJ Frost, so you know, whole heap of established artists, so if you see Naji Boy get his opportunity to be a and this rhythm you know it's a good look and the man I come with the next girl song you know any girl song Naji boy come with it always go for six yeah it always go big so far everything man drop a it and him also having vivo channel so the viewers them can go check it out so we have a few reactions from fans so first in the comment section we have the producer of the rhythm real DJ Frost party bus rhythm with a hourglass you know emoji and also a flame emoji so basically man I say in time this rhythm I go bust the place. We also have Jordan Chimney, another bad producer with a flame emoji. And we also have this bad artist, Teflon Zinc Fence. The only blind youth with vision, a bag of flame emoji. Teach them your seat. So you see what's happening, viewers. Naji Boy getting his recognition by, you know, big players, main players in the music industry. So tell me if you want him to drop, drop this song like right, right now. Leave it in the comment section. From the first day, in the book of Squaddy me not stop on my ganja So come put on the handcuff them Remember me must get paid Jamaica to pay legal fees of Vibes Cartel and co-accused for Privy Council appeal So this is coming from Nationwide the formal order has been signed by King Charles III instructing the government of Jamaica to pay the legal fees of dancehall artist Vibes Cartel and his three co-accused. This follows the recent ruling by, by the UK Privy Council to quash the 2014 MURDER convictions of Vibes Cartel whose given name is Adija Palmer, Sean Storm, Campbell, Kyra Jones and Andre St. John. The men were imprisoned for the 2011 MURDER of Clive Lizard Williams. So you see what's happening here viewers, the UK Privy Council Court, you know, the King, King Charles signed off on it. So, um, the Jamaican government supposed to repay Vibes Cartel for their legal fees spent for them to reach to the Privy Council. So 
if, you know this has been going around in the media for a while now say it's approximately about 600 thousand pound which is about 100 million jamaican dollars or so you know the state which is jamaica government is supposed to pay back vibes cartel for all money spent so you the viewers can tell me what you think about this leave it in the comment section Usain Bolt gifted his mom a 45 million dollar mansion in Brisbane, Australia on her 61st birthday. So viewers, we saw this over on Pinkwell page where it says that you know Usain Bolt bought his mom another house and this time it's in Australia. And you have some other people say why you know Usain Bolt buy um in mother one house in a, in a different country from where she lives so i'm gonna read a few reactions from fans so this first person say so yo me g me can't take the money where ssl owe you this other person say you know how long this has circulated this other comment real estate anywhere is an asset this other person say what my kids seen this this other one amazing this other one beautiful this person say when you reach the world is your oyster you no longer need to box in your mind to think life only exists where you are immediately at this person say fake news this other one why the h-e-l-l -L in australia this other comment congratulations this other one so nice of you so viewers you see and both you know bought another house for his mom in australia allegedly you know some people are say a fake news while some people think it's real but you the viewers tell me think about this you know you see and both still have not recovered mo his money from ssl so you know some people think him broke while some people think him still have a lot of money leave but you the viewers tell me think leave it in the comment section so now viewers we have um dancer selector tony mataran basically giving his whole take on the whole craft situation and where he got arrested in half a tree well he must say this not have nothing to do with him and craft because we, we know that him and craft did go at it recently where craft telling about him about them thing there but he must say this not have nothing to do with it him just uh, analyze the situation and him think say how oh, craft go about it was wrong the moment him jaw away and from the police you know that inside violence and the police them did a profile craft based off how what him see because two craft you know have on the whole heap of tattoo them on him chest and how him dress him now on a shirt and them thing there well to one matter and i say in america those things attract police and you know the image alone can determine how them react to you so i'm gonna play the video with Tony matter and basically i explain the whole thing and you the viewers then we think about this leave it in the comment section don't forget to like the video the young artist them most of them young artists yeah, they are very talented but there's a stigma that goes wrong behind them just like the artists before them and the younger the young artists them one society of these little youths as they were choppers and them start seeing not saying that they are choppers and they start seeing but that's how society labels them just like before when in a Bunty beanie them, cover them time. Um, society labeled DJs as bad man. Two of them come from ghetto areas. Other than Sean Paul, Dan Youth, and Kid Corrupt, Daddy Gun, them, and certain look uptown youth will become artists. 99% of the artists at the time in the 90s came from ghetto areas meaning they were affiliated with dance gangsters bad man so the mere fact that you come from a ghetto area even though you probably wasn't a bad man in a ghetto area the mere fact that you're an artist from a ghetto area um it indicates that you somewhat know a badness when it necessarily wasn't so you understand it's just our society label um, artists back in the days. Then the thing said, all of them youths will come from Sea View, Waterhouse, Rima, Jungle, and Pianland and them places. They thought that all of these men were, were um, bad men. You know? And enough of them, them are no bad men. They may know bad man and they come from bad area, but that no means to them they bad. And the same thing, them little youth, yeah, enough of them, they may know little choppers or whatever, but that no means to them are choppers. You 
receive but look at this now one thing can lead to a next remember you are being profiled as a certain individual and you have to conduct yourself otherwise it's just like in america if let's say uh, let me show you something you see me look at my attire me in a little t-shirt a jeans pants a little watch when you reason no pick no blame that's reason realistically look on this me they are florida now me can get pulled by the cops which may get pulled a couple times one may hardly get pulled but when i do get pulled and I wind down my window and the officer come to my window you notice from him looking whether me have all my shades say me have all my shades me i'll show you something Profiling is a bitch and it now gonna stop. It's in a system and a society where profiling is going to be an effect. It's not supposed to define who you are, but it does. Alright, media of Florida. Florida is a gun state. I have my glasses. An officer and come to my window. Uh, whatever why for the combat with us a reason you see from him looking um him say a night and him shining him light him big bright light um good night sir and him him, him, him a speculate kind of look for anything around at the back and re, re, re. so more likely when the police come me turn on the roof like them so me a game automatical access at the vehicle you see in my body language one you don't see no bag of tattoo upon me two me no you know no key and roar me no you know no dreads three my facial expression no look like um one big spliff in my mouth and the pan him now smell no ganja in ya. You see it? Everything where him a look for, for craft your with. Craft yesterday get crafted by the police because him don't know the law. So it escalated quickly in front of our eyes because him don't understand how to deal with situations. You see it? If a police stop you in America, any state, and you look like this not say anymore probably try use craft and infringe your in a some little fuckery but you see your first look if you don't look like a gangbanger that police not feel like him for dig deeper you know if you look like a gangbanger and a, 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 say a white police stop you even a black police the mere fact that you look like a, a, a gangbanger like a gang member with tattoos and certain they, they go for certain things because certain gang have certain tattoos on them and them are gonna, that's going to make him want to dig more it, it no matter um, official if you know rate what I say that's why young black men get hurt because they do don't understand on like a fucking self it no matter when me I tell you if you don't have a rate what I say the fuck is the fact that's why pussy like uno get fuck up because you know want hear the truth but it is the truth if police pull you over and you look like a fucking gang member that fucker him want remember him on the probably pull you for your lick of light at the back him go want to try find out if you have drugs in the car or him go want to find out more because of how you look don't tell me nothing about you know rate you know matter if you're fucking rate that's why you don't learn certain things Yesterday is a ticket craft, forget you know. Is a ticket craft, forget, but I'm going to show you. Know. Come and watch my video and analyze it. I'm going to show you. Know. Craft, right? I'm going to show you know. when craft wrong. Bear in mind, the street police, them, most of them jealous. 
always remember that. One, when no found in heaven, I look pan. Enough people are going to say bad mind. Yes, bad mind is in it too. But look at this. Also, remember, the first thing, you have to know how to conduct yourself. Because remember, craft, you may name craft, but you don't have craft like the police them. You have to be smart. I'm feeling good. You have to be smart to outcraft the police. And craft, yesterday, you wasn't smart to outcraft the police them. And the police them use a craft for you. Because first thing, say them stop craft for using the phone because you're not supposed to use the phone. You know why them, them stop craft? At first, them don't know see a craft in there. Because enough of the police, them never know craft. The reason why them police, they me just a say this for saying sake. I'm not sure if I that them stop him for, but I'm pretty 90 odd percent sure at that make them pull him car first. He was driving an iron vehicle, which you know a bad mind in the thing. Once you drive an iron vehicle, police subjected to stop you. But under that man stop him, he might drive a blue plate. Alright. Now make a reason quickly from blue plate. A blue plate meaning is a dealer's plate. And some of the dealers them wrong because they sell cards to some little youth and them don't explain the thing to the full nature of what a blue plate is for. A blue plate, yeah, money and bad mind, but make a Analyze blue plate. You have got sections. A blue plate meaning a dealer can use this plate to transport a vehicle from A to point B. So meaning we cannot leave from one end of the island to the next end of the island. The dealer knows this, and the police knows this. But when the dealer gives Mataran the blue plate for drive, he may not explain. The whole thing of the the plate and if him not explain that to mataran and if even if him explain it to mataran and mataran not educated enough to orchestrate the explanation say is a test drive or i am transporting the vehicle from point a to point b when a police officer stop you him cocky stiff up because i'm sick a normal person in a blue plate where him no say you are no dealer you are no car dealer cause based on your body language you don't look like a car dealer you never have a dealership logo you never have a shot so him definitely no say you are not the car dealer so him can use film like a sykes and craft you so first him come to you um sir you're driving a blue plate yes i'm driving a blue plate him can want to tow the vehicle because First, he might probably uh, insinuate that you are not liable or eligible for a drive in a blue plate. Zin? Well, you have to make him know, say, this vehicle, I am transporting this vehicle to home. Because even if you have the plate for 10 days, him can't tell you, say, a 10 days you would have the plate for. You see it? He might use craft and you have to use back craft on him. So he might use smart, you have to use back smart. If the police officer approach you and say, yes, this is a blue plate. Him can't tell you, say, you that drive the blue plate from yesterday. Because if he might tell you that, then, oh, you don't know, say, me I drive this from yesterday, or rare, rare, rare. Where you have to profile me and then that would be unlawful for the police to profile you. Are you not under, no, investigation? So, him have an assumption say this plate doesn't belongs to you so you know have to articulate yourself and just conduct yourself in a manner where you just say i am taking the vehicle home boom bam 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 it don't matter how far your home is you could have your kingston and your home there mobby you have the right to drive with this plate till you reach your destination bear that in mind but if you don't know that the police know that he might go use that against you. So that's all wrong. You have to know how to deal with that. You drive a blue plate. One, them pull him. The police don't have no right 
to take you out of your vehicle always remember that because based on the offense him stop you for the blue plate or him stop you because you was using your phone and in jamaica it's unlawful to use your phone any device your hand supposed to be free bam him can stop you for, for that wind down your window sir license and registration you reach your license and registration and you give him him not have no reason to tell you to come out of the car you see it that's a craft no know the law because you not supposed to come out of the car and him can't tell you to come out of the car he don't have any reason to take you out of the car but for some reason craft come out of the car one craft body language craft body language wasn't wrong when him come out of the car he might comply body language wise he might point to him shoes and rare 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 and him and the officer attack that's how we can see because we can't to hear what they must say so look where the situ situation escalate crawford says something to him and then the next thing you know the officer based on what we say we are making an assumption which is a justifiable assumption like Craft says something and then he might reach for grab craft by him and meaning the officer is now telling craft that you're under arrest for whatever that couple seconds away he might articulate himself and blah, blah, blah. the officer now telling him that he's under arrest look on this now let me show you something the mere fact that the officer now thinks that he's gonna arrest you and him goes and reach out for your hand you see the moment when craft goes so You automatically give away your little thing, Nessa No Craft. Because this is resisting arrest. Remember, whatever the officer decide from you get out of the vehicle, now him decides that him gonna lock you up. You see the moment moment him say if like him gonna arrest craft and like him a whole lamp and craft and, and craft do like this, that's automatically resisting arrest. Make a rewind back like a brrr, before that. When craft come out of the car, no for one of those people, no even know whether craft is said something wrong or not. The officer could have used Sykes pan him and arrest him a couple seconds before that. Before you remember when you know, see this and thing when doing so with him and the officer could have arrest craft before that. You know why? It's when craft come out of the car. One him and a pint all over you know jamaicans love gesticulate i don't love gesticulate i don't know, understand gesticulation in the wrong direction can cause an arrest because no found a dunce no blood clot i don't know nothing about nothing i don't know if i tell y'all this and tell people that suck the mother and uh, me tell people go suck the mother more than anybody else but me know things one if an officer did a suck and you a pint your finger did you know that an offense you are pint in the direction of um the officer no he can take it as i'm not saying that every officer will do that but let look where you, you, the officer of you him can say you are trying to you are a threat because you're pointing pointing meaning if you your hand finger point enough you could grab in my uniform and pull me in an uncompromising position hence i am in a position that i can lose my firearm to this assailant you see it you know she said the police can shoot you for trying to attempt to retrieve his firearm wanna see how quick something can escalate yeah wanna see how quick 